Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a video on the Encro channel, in today's video, I'll be giving you guys basically like a full sea monsters guide. Now in this video, I'll be talking about how to obviously find them, how to kill them, and uh, yeah, all the different kinds of sea monsters. Before I start this video, I just want to say we're trying to reach 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so it would really help me out if you guys can click that subscribe button. Also hit that like button and join my Discord. I'll be hosting a giveaway very, very soon, I'm going to start live streaming soon as well. So uh, yeah, sub up. Alright, so first things first, we're going to be talking about how to actually find these sea monsters. Now this is probably the hardest part. Because obviously finding the sea monsters is, I mean, there's a huge sea. Finding a sea monster is going to be very hard. But there actually is a specific way you guys can do it. That's actually how I did it to actually get the poison dagger myself. So basically the way to find sea monsters is at the bottom left of your screen. You can go to inbox and you can go to the Agora. Now basically it's like a newspaper. It tells you everything that's going on basically. Obviously this newspaper is kind of, um, it's kind of plain right now. Like, there's not really much news in it. But yeah, basically it's going to be a bunch of different chapters talking about different like famous things that are happening for example multiple mysterious figures slain at white summit basically anything crazy that's happened in your server will pop up on here which obviously includes sea monster sightings all of that kind of stuff they'll pop up here if someone killed a sea monster pop up here so yeah if you guys are looking for a sea monster it will actually pop up with a news text and then it'll say sea monster spotted at white summit and you have to go all the way to white summit and you go to search around for a sea monster and uh, yeah, that's obviously how you actually find them. The only issue with this method, I mean, it's the only method you can actually use to find them. But the issue with it is that, for example, if it says it's around Sailor's Lodge, it can literally be like around this whole area. So, I mean, you might think, oh, around Sailor's Lodge is going to be right here, right? But it's so much wider than you think. So, I mean, for like, for example, it's not as easy as you think where it's just like, oh, it's that Sailor's Lodge. Let me go to Sailor's Lodge, just quickly find it. Like, you're going to have to search for a while around Sailor's Lodge. I don't know why they make it so hard to find but I mean, that's just the way it is, I guess. All right, the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is always the different sorts of sea monsters. Now, a lot of people think that there's only the two sea monsters, white eyes and purple or poison jaws. But basically, there is actually another one which does actually count as a sea monster, which is kind of crazy. It's called the Megalodon Shark. Now, you might have not even thought of this one as a sea monster. But actually, it does count as a sea monster. So, for example, like I said, if it does say sea monster spotted like Sailor's Lodge, for example, chances are, if you see a Megalodon, that's what they're talking about. Because so many times... It's not actually like a real sea monster, it's just a megalodon, which is basically just a normal shark, by the way. And it drops these like trashy little fins that sell for like nothing. But yeah, that's probably a very, that's another very annoying thing, especially if you're trying to look for poison jaws, for example, for the dagger. Uh, chances are you're going to run into a bunch of just megalodons, which is extremely annoying. They do drop fins that sell for 120 each, but I mean, how much is that going to sell for like 20 or something? So. Yeah, that's another issue of obviously this. All right, now the final method of the video is obviously how to kill the sea monsters. Now, sea monsters are ex extremely OP. Honestly, the Megalodon and the Poison Jaws, you're not going to struggle with too much. They both are extremely weak. But when you do find the White Eyes sea monster, which does drop the White Eyes scale, I'm pretty sure I do have it in my inventory here. As you guys see, I do have the White Eyes scale. Uh, it's actually a drop chance from the sea monster. It sells for 300, so nothing really amazing to be honest. But uh, yeah, now basically the way to fight these monsters is this is how I did it and this is how it worked super well in my favor. Basically, if you guys did not know, when you take command of a boat, your FOV increases, which means you can look under the sea and stuff. So what you guys, what I recommend you guys doing, especially against white eyes, by the way, well, the other two sea monsters, you can kind of just dive in there, spam all your moves. And by the time they even get to you, they'll be dead. And I'm pretty sure they'll do one shot. White eyes, on the other hand, bro, is a complete monster. Like it literally one hits you. It can slash your boat. It can actually one hit your boat as well, which is stupid op but yeah basically the way that i did this personally is if you guys do use the extended fov from obviously sailing a boat you can see under the water very far so the way i did it is i encrypted my storm caller so storm caller is probably one of the best things to use just because of this range honestly and when you equip the storm caller you use the fov for example let's say the monster's like right around there you'd come up here you'd get your weapon out and then you just start hitting you with like all the moves you have for example so i mean even though this method is ideal it's the only way that you can safely kill this monster without getting damaged if you do think about hopping straight in the water and spamming all your range moves i mean like have fun with that like you can get good damage in but as soon as you hit him once he straight up just rushes you straight away so i mean you might you must have to have quick reflexes and then even if he does hit you and he comes for you and you do get on your boat in time he'll one shot your boat as well and he'll probably come through the boat and eat you because that's a literal glitch that he can do. All right, so last things last, I'm actually going to be going through all the drops that sea monsters can drop. And honestly, to be completely honest, I'm just going to say straight away, they are very anticlimactic, bro. They sell. The only boss that drops something good is the poison jewels, and it's this weapon right here. Other than that, you get scales, and it's just it's just horrible, man. So first things I'm going to be talking about the megalodon drop. Now, I already mentioned this earlier, but the Megalodon dro does drop its fins. So I do have them right here, two Megalodon fins. Once again, pretty lame, honestly. It's uncommon, but it only sells for 120. 
uh yeah which then if you were to sell that it would probably sell for like 30 or something so incredibly lame and uh yeah next and yeah, next one we're gonna be talking about the white eyes so we have the white eyes scale here it does sell for double the amount but bro when you kill a boss that has 3.5k health I'm gonna want something more than a white eye scale that sells for 300. And then last things last, we have the poison jaws. Now, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure this is the only poison jaws drop, and this drop is actually extremely good. I have a whole video on it if you guys do want to check that out. Um, yeah, it's called the poison jaw, the poison tooth dagger. As you guys can see, has a poisoned effect. So uh, yeah, incredibly cool. But honestly, I recommend farming for this as well if you don't already have it. A really good item. It also has a range move as well. It has a dagger throw move which throw and then obviously it commits um, or it deals uh, poison damage as well, which is insanely good. But uh, yeah, that should basically be it for the video. I'm going to put an, uh, an Agora on the screen right now, which obviously you guys can see it's a real Agora. I don't know why I got extremely lucky with Agora and there's actually nothing in it. But here's how the Agora normally looks. As you guys see, it has a bunch of sea monsters in there, a bunch of stuff that you can actually farm and stuff. So uh, yeah, that's how it's going to mostly look. And that's yeah. Anyway, that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Hope this video did obviously help you guys farm all the sea monsters. I don't know why you'd be even farming the sea monsters. Except if you're trying to get the poison jewel dagger, which um, or the poison tooth dagger, which is an extremely good weapon. But yeah, also join the Discord. I'll be hosting a giveaway very, very soon. But as soon as I get the items, giveaway is coming straight out. I just hit 300 members in my Discord. So it means a lot, by the way. Um, and yeah, that's it for the video. Peace out, boys.